Hi, I'm Abby Kaler, a teaching and learning librarian at Western, and this video is going to show you the basics of getting started with Web of Science. First, navigate to Western Libraries online by Googling WW and Library. This is the home page. There are many ways to access the databases and resources that we have available to you at Western. To start, I think we should begin using this link, Article Databases. Western subscribes to over 200 databases. Um, both subscription and uh, open access databases are available here. But in particular, we're looking for Web of Science. There are two databases listed for Web of Science. The first one is the one that we want. You'll notice that you'll need to enter your Western credentials since none of us are on campus these days. And you should be passed through to the database without problem. Start your search by entering keywords. Web of Science searches a smaller set of articles and information than, say, Google. So start your search using broad, keywords. The results of your search are found in the middle column. On the left, op there are options for refining your results, which we'll look at in a second. Um, and on the right are, is very valuable information about how articles can be connected to each other. Since we began with a broad search, the refine options are going to be very useful to us. As I can see, we have 264 results in the middle here, but not necessarily ones that were very highly cited in their field. To use the refine results, scroll down. You have options to choose from those that are highly cited in the field, from recent years of publication, from different categories, which include, um, which are web of science defined and are fairly broad, different document types, articles or proceedings from conferences, as well as mentioned before, funding agencies who would have supported this research. When evaluating sources, whether it's within a database or online, evaluating who paid for the information can be key. From 264 results, we're down to just six. This is one of the best features of using an online database from the library. In addition, I can also see that the initial results are more highly cited than those that I received initially. Web of Science's best feature is, it, is its ability to show connections between articles on a topic. It does this by showing who has cited an article, and the more people who have used or cited an article, the more likely it could be uh, important to your research. By clicking on that link of time cited, I now receive a different list of 17 articles um, which may be use, useful as I work on building my sources for my particular project or paper. This initial list is uh, default sorted by date, but to find of those resources that cited the initial article, the ones that were most cited themselves, I can sort by time cited. And now I see that the top resource has been cited by 19 other articles or proceedings. This method of, connect, of seeing how articles are connected in your research uh, is called citation tracking and is available in other databases and resources as well. Now, say in my research, I found an article that I am actually interested in and I'd like to get it. Look for the Find It link um, within Web of Science and other databases in order to be passed through to Western subscription resources. This is passing me through to the library's online catalog, our kind of one-stop shop for verifying uh, subscription information through your Western credentials. Here I can see that the title is the same, much of the information is the same. I can click access options here, but first I'm going to scroll down to see if I can view it already. I can see that the library subscribes to two different database packages. This one is called Wiley Online Library. By clicking here, I'm being passed through one more time. I can now see the article in full um, by reading the abstract and getting the PDF. To go back to our results list, 
as I'm searching, I may find that there is one article that I'm interested in that may or may not be available. Again, Web of Science sometimes lists the description of articles and not uh, doesn't necessarily pass you full through to the full text of an article. In this case, I can see that under the View It bar, there's an option to get it through interlibrary loan. Western Libraries is connected to a number of regional and national libraries um, where we can borrow and share materials. By using the interlibrary loan service, I can log in using my Western credentials and access it there. Articles requested using interlibrary loan um, usually take up to two to three days to come in, sometimes even faster than that if you are providing as much information as possible. And by using the online database through the library, much information is passed, as you've seen, from one resource to the other. The article, um, when they find it, will be um, sent to you via your email address, your Western email address, uh, as a PDF. That's what we've got for the basics for Web of Science. As many other databases, it has a number of um, options and features that I encourage you to explore. Again, Web of Science, like um, other library databases, really works to bring you um, connections between the articles as you do your research. If you have any other questions, please contact uh, the Teaching and Learning Division of Western Libraries. And thanks.